Hi, today I am going to get you started with the Freestyle Libre, a continuous glucose monitoring system. Let's go through the main components of the Freestyle Libre system. We have the sensor pack and the sensor applicator. Now, you can also use Freestyle Libre Link app to check your glucose levels simply from your smartphone. To get started, download the Freestyle Libre Link app free from the App Store on your iPhone or Google Play on your Android smartphone. This app allows to check your glucose levels simply from your smartphone. Once the app is installed on your mobile phone, open it to get started. You will have to enter some information to get your app set up and ready to use. It's important to set your country to your place of residence. Enter your information. When you set up your account in the Freestyle Libre Link app, a Libre View account will automatically be created. LibreView is a cloud-based platform that ensures your data is stored securely and allows you to share glucose data with your doctor. Next, you will see some helpful screens that will guide you through the app. Complete the setup by setting your target glucose range as recommended by your doctor. Make sure that NFC function is enabled on your phone before scanning the sensor. Follow the steps to set it up and activate it. For Android users, your Android smartphone must have NFC capabilities and NFC must be enabled. Many of the latest Android phones support NFC. Check your phone's manual or go to the phone's settings menu and look for settings related to NFC, connections, sharing or wireless and networks. For iPhone users, you must have an iPhone 8 or higher running iOS 15.5 or higher to utilize the NFC capability needed to scan the Freestyle Libre sensor. Please visit Freestyle Libre website or scan the QR code to see the latest compatibility guide. Now, your Freestyle Libre Link app is ready to activate the sensor. Applying the Freestyle Libre sensor is also easy. The Freestyle Libre sensor kit comes in two parts, a sensor applicator and the sensor. To get started, Select a site on the back of your upper arm. For optimal application and adhesion of the sensor, we recommend you ensure the skin is bare and free from body hair. Clean your skin with soap and water. Make sure your skin is completely dry before applying the sensor. Peel the lid completely off the back of the sensor and unscrew the cap from the sensor applicator. Place the sensor applicator into the open sensor pack. Align the dark mark on the applicator with the mark on the back. Place the applicator on a hard surface and press down firmly on the sensor applicator until it comes to a stop. Lift the sensor applicator out of the sensor pack. The needle you see here quickly goes in the skin to apply the soft filament which comes out and does not stay in. The filament on the sensor is very soft and flexible. It doesn't hurt when the sensor is in use. Place the sensor applicator over the prepared area. Push down firmly until the sensor is in place. Make sure the sensor is secure after application. If you plan on using Freestyle Libre Reader as well as Freestyle Libre Link app, remember to activate your new sensor with the reader first before scanning sensor with Freestyle Libre Link app. To activate the sensor with your Freestyle Libre Link app, scan your sensor with your phone until you hear a beep and your phone vibrates. For Android users, position the back of your phone close to the sensor and scan it. Each Android phone model varies, so you might need to adjust the phone's position to find the correct position of the NFC transmitter antenna. Keep the phone over the sensor until you hear two tones. Wait for both tones if your phone volume is on. If you're using an iPhone, tap either the blue scan new sensor button or the icon on the upper right hand corner of the app. Then, bring the top edge of your iPhone near the sensor. Your iPhone will vibrate and emit a sound upon successful scanning. You have to wait 60 minutes before your sensor is ready for scanning. There will be a countdown on your screen. Once the countdown is complete, you can scan your sensor to get your first glucose reading. Let's talk about what to expect with your first scan. Bring the phone to your sensor to scan it. On your first scan, you will see your current glucose reading and a trend arrow. Your trend arrow shows you what direction your glucose levels are heading in. Changing slowly, rising, falling, 
falling quickly and rising quickly, allowing you to act instead of react. Eight hours later, you will see your first complete glucose graph. It also tells you how much time you are in or out of your target range. It helps you understand where your glucose have been. The final piece of information on the screen is your glucose message. A message may appear when glucose readings are high, low or in range. You will also notice there are different background colors. Your current glucose value determines the background color. Orange means your glucose is high. Yellow means you are above or below your target glucose range. Green color indicates you are within your target range and red means your glucose is low. You can work with your doctor to set your personalized target range. You can connect your LibreLink app with the LibreView practice ID of your doctor to share your reports with your doctor. LibreLink app can also be connected with LibreLink up app. The LibreLink up app allows your loved ones to receive notifications of your glucose readings. To summarize, here is what you need to know. A 60 minute countdown will begin once you start your sensor. You can scan as often as you like, but make sure you scan at least once every 8 hours to capture all your data. And remember, it's important to consider all 4 pieces of information in quick 1 second scan. Your current glucose, glucose trend arrow, glucose graph and glucose message.